Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have two new Canon 5Ds out. We have the 5DS and the 5DS R. Now, of most interest probably to most people will be the 5DS. So let's look at the three big, we got three big differences or, or the three most significant differences that pop out at me um, from the 5D Mark III to the 5DS. Now, first and foremost, and pretty earth-shattering as far as uh, technological leaps, is obviously the sensor. We've gone from 22 megapixels to 50 megapixels. Uh, Canon has now leapfrogged the 36 megapixel sensor that Nikon's been using and gone all the way to 50. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, definitely takes us into, you know, the, the 36 megapixel sensor from the Nikons was already in uh, basically medium format territory. It could compete with medium format cameras. A lot of people were using it in that regard. Now we're up to 50. Remains to be seen how well lenses hold up with the increased resolution. You know, it puts a lot more strain on a lens and can, in the sense that it'll show um, any of the imperfections a lot more when you have such a big boost in megapixels. But this is a revolutionary jump in... Um, in megapixels, it's not just a tiny little bit. Uh, Canon is trying to jump back and claim the throne now. They have claimed the throne, 50 megapixels. Probably the most significant advance we've seen from Canon in a long time. Number two would be Digic 6. We've gone from Digic 5 to Digic 6 in the new 5DS and in the new 5DS R. Um, so we've got you know that more enhanced processing system. Uh, should be a better um, a better processing system, better processor, faster pipeline to deal with you know these extra megapixels and you know basically hopefully keep things running faster and smoother in the newer camera. So always. Uh, Typically, always an advantage when we get these these newer, faster processing systems in the cameras, especially when we're going to need them to deal with the increased resolution here. I mean, we were what were we 22 with the 5D? So we've more than doubled it. We've gone uh, you know to 50. That's that's pretty crazy. So obviously, we needed a faster processor in there, and we had that with the Canon Digic 6. Um, the last thing that's the that, that's a, a fairly big thing. Not a huge thing, but we've gone to USB 3 finally. A lot of cameras still haven't caught up and gone to USB 3. The 5D Mark III had USB 2, and now we're up to USB 3 on both of the models of the 5DS and the 5DS R. So, that's the three, three most obvious, three most significant features I see um, that uh, have jumped out at us with the new offering from Canon in the new 5DS and the 5DS R. Um, obviously, most significant here is this huge leap in megapixels to 50 megapixels. What do you guys think? Is there something else about the new 5Ds that you um, thought was uh, really significant that I haven't mentioned here? Put it in the comments below. What do you think about the new 5Ds? Uh, are you excited? Um, is this something you're gonna jump on right away because you've been waiting for Canon to catch up? Did the megapixels not impress you? Let's have a discussion on the new Canon 5DS and the new 5DSR. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some new videos on photography, videography, and technology right here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks a lot.